In the previous video, three key factors that determine the ease of membrane permeability of any given molecule were covered. They are size, polarity, and concentration gradient. This would mean a small, non-polar molecule existing in high concentrations will find it much easier to pass through a cell membrane to get to the opposite side. However, in reality, there are many molecules which are big, polar, and existing in low concentrations that also needs to pass through the cell membrane. So how would they find their way across the membrane? The good news is that there are special proteins embedded in the cell membrane that act as entry and exit points for such molecules. Relating this back to the apartment analogy, these special proteins act just like doors or windows that allow specific items through them. A simple example of these are the channel proteins acting just like passageways to allow specific molecules to pass through them through the cell membrane. Another example are the carrier proteins which bind specifically to specific molecules and are able to change its own conformation to allow the molecules to go into the cell, acting similar to a revolving door. The channel and carrier proteins are two typical types of membrane transporters playing a role in passive transport and the key characteristics of passive transport always involve a molecule moving from a region of high concentration to a region of lower concentration, hence no input energy is required. However, not all molecule movements occur that easily, moving along its concentration gradient, likened to rolling a ball down a slope. There are also many that involve molecules moving against its own concentration gradient, which definitely requires more effort. Such transport processes are named active transports, where molecules move from a region of lower concentration to a region of higher concentration, going against its concentration gradient, hence requiring input energy. The first type of active transporter are classified as primary active transporter, where an energy carrier molecule called ATP supplies the required energy to change the transporter's shape, helping to move the molecule across. Another type of active transporters are classified as secondary active transporters, where the input energy is derived from the potential energy stored in a secondary molecule's concentration gradient. In other words, as this secondary molecule moves along its concentration gradient, energy is released, and this energy is tapped by the molecule that needs to move across the cell membrane, giving it that extra push to move against its own concentration gradient. Transporters form an important class of membrane molecules instrumental in helping other molecules move across the cell membrane, into or out of the cell. Within the cell membrane, there are also other classes of membrane molecules which play important roles in helping the cell function properly. Examples include the cholesterol which are distributed throughout the cell membrane, helping to maintain the membrane's structural integrity and fluidity. Glycoproteins which are dispersed on the cell membrane surface helps in cell-to-cell -cell recognition, interaction, and immunity. Receptors which transfers through the cell membrane which are able to bind to signaling molecules transducing signals into the cell during cell-to-cell -cell communication, and this will be covered in a later topic.